What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldessar from teddybaldessar.com. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a watch available for purchase on my website with the Mueller Glassuta 29er. So at any point throughout this video, link in the description if you have any questions, we'll have information about the watch on the product page where you can also purchase the watch. Also, you can book a call with me if you have any specific questions. And then finally, if it's your first time purchasing from the store, use promo code FIRSTORDER at checkout and you can get 5% off your first order of any Mula watch as well as other select brands. But guys, let's take a closer look at this watch. First, looking at a rundown of the specs here, we have a case size of 36.6 millimeters, case thickness of 9.6 millimeters, lug width of 18 millimeters, lug to lug of 42.3 millimeters, water resistance of 100 meters, movement is an automatic Salita SW200. This one is highly modified though. Crystal is sapphire and price $1,499 on a strap then $1,599 on a bracelet. But if you use promo code first order, it's your first time purchasing from the store, you can get a discount with your purchase of this watch as well as other select brands on the store. So definitely go check that out. Now, when it comes to brands that have the best watches from $1,000 to $2,000, there's a lot of brands that could be thrown into the mix here. But I think Germany has some of the best options in all of watchmaking with the likes of Damasco, Zinn, Nomos, and Mula. Uh, with the model that we have here today being one of the more noteworthy watches to consider, and from a perspective of those with smaller wrists especially, I think this could even be more of an option to look towards. But before we look at this 29er, first a little bit of backstory on Mula. So Mula Glassuta is a German manufacturer that has an impressive track record of developing timekeeping and industrial devices well over a century. The company is family owned and operated and has been so for five generations, is based in the legendary watchmaking city of Glasuto, Germany. The rise in the world of timekeeping devices and other industrial parts include a well established history with marine chronometers and motorcycle speedometers for the likes of BMW. But in the 1990s, the brand shifted in production of mechanical watches after one of their customers of marine chronometers approached them to create a line of wristwatches that could withstand the tough conditions aboard their ships. Now Mueller is one of the leading producers of watches in Germany and are among one of the most respected tool watch manufacturers on the market today. But the watch here, like I mentioned earlier, is kind of more that everyday option piece. And I think there's a lot of other German brands that could be thrown into the mix here that are competing. But I think this one has some unique looks and I think from a sizability standpoint, for those with smaller wrists, this is definitely gonna be one to consider. Now, first looking at this piece on the wrist, we have a small case variant here of the 29er family with this one coming in at a 36.6 millimeter case diameter, a very thin case at 9.6 millimeters and a lug to lug of just 42.3 millimeters. This watch is a great wear for those with say wrists under seven inches, especially. However, I can see some with maybe even larger wrists being a fan of this one as well. The case does wear a little bit smaller than just south of 37 millimeters might indicate. However, I think it does fall in that range where it could be worn by both sex as well being kind of a big plus with this one now this piece is available both on a leather strap as well as the bracelet but in my opinion i think it is actually worth it to go for this bracelet yes it does end up running a hundred dollars more but i think the bracelet is just very well constructed the bracelet does not feature screwed in links but it does deliver a lot for the money you're getting very nice links here with polished edges that add a level of flash with a predominantly brushed surface the links feature great articulation are very comfortable when having this strapped on as well and along the underside you also have a two button release of a butterfly clasp which is easy to engage and won't provide any risk of coming undone accidentally. One point of this bracelet is the end links though that do extend out quite a bit and will make this watch actually wear a little bit larger if you're measuring to that farthest out point. So we're looking at 42.3 millimeters when measuring at the lugs, but at that actual extension of the end link, you're looking at 47 millimeters. So that's a pretty sizable difference. This is going to form to the wrist here, but I think that does help in telling a little bit more of the story behind how this piece wears. Looking back at the front of the piece, we have a sapphire crystal protecting and providing a clear view of the dial elements underneath. Now this version here is pretty much all down to the business. We have a really nice, black glossy dial surface here. Along the outside of the dial, we have a black chapter ring marking the every five minutes with white printed numeral markings. Taking one step inward, we have small loom plots set right alongside the outside of the applied polish markers. The three and outline date window that houses a black date disc within to match the dial color. And at the center, a pencil style handset containing small bits of loom within the hour and the minute hands and a red second hand that offers a pop of color to the design. Flipping this watch over, we have an open case back with a sapphire crystal on the back providing view of a heavily modified Salita SW200. Now, one of the areas where Mueller really, I think, separates themselves and does a very good job is with their movements. Now, this SW200 is certainly no 
typical grade here. You're getting a top grade movement, but in addition to that, you're getting some pretty heavy modification here as Mule is actually gonna be disassembling part of this movement and reassembling it to really make it their own. This one features a nicely machine finished rotor, which also include hollowed out points. I got that branded engraving on there and got marking of 26 joules as well. In addition, Mule is gonna also be adding blued screws and then also their nice regulator for fine tuning the accuracy of the movement. Now this regulator is known as their woodpecker neck. It's a patented regulator system invented by Mula back in 2003 and really is just kind of a reinterpreted design from the more popular swan neck style, providing similar sensitive adjustment while improving and upping the shock resistance in the process. This movement is going to operate at 28,800 vibrations per hour, 4 hertz. Features hacking, so you can stop that second hand when pulling out the crown to the farthest position. Also features hand winding and has a power reserve of 38 hours and is going to be running in single digits in terms of accuracy as these are going to be regulated. Now just to unpack here on some of the things to consider if looking in the direction of this piece. Now things that I think maybe working against this piece is just going to be the competition. There's a lot of other options out there that are on the market. In addition, I think this is going to be a little bit on the smaller size, so it's going to be for somebody that does have a smaller wrist and wants that style and presence. And then lastly, I think the end links on this thing are a little bit weird, but that can all go out the window if you just end up wearing this on a strap, which I think there's a ton of options here. But there's a lot to like about this piece. One, it's really well constructed. I think Germany in this $1,000 to $2,000 price range, if you look at the likes of Zinn as well as Damasco, I think Mule is right there with them, if not maybe exceeding some of the things that they're doing. You're also just getting some really versatile styling here. That touch of red is kind of fun, maybe does kind of hurt the versatility, but this is still going to be a crazy versatile piece in that department. And then lastly, I think it's just a great everyday piece for smaller wrists with that regulated movement and a lot of just the tool like aesthetic that you kind of can be expected with Mulo's pieces I think this is a great watch if you're looking in that direction so guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell icon if you do have any questions about this piece book a call with me love to have a conversation with you about it then finally if it's your first time ordering from the store feel free to use that promo code first order to get a discount of your purchase of this watch or other select brands on the site Love to show you what Going Authorized is all about. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.